Hey guys, today's video is going to be a really quick run through on how you can take any line work from your drawings or calligraphy or anything like that and isolate the lines to neaten it all up or change the background or digitally add colour so you can end up with something crisp and neat and ready to display without the use of Photoshop. So to start out with, you're going to want to get your drawing or whatever you're starting out with and get it up on your computer somehow. You can use a scanner, if you don't have a scanner you can take a picture of it, just make sure it's the best quality that you can do. Um, if, you've, if you're just using your phone, just try and get it in the best lighting possible. And once it's up on your computer it should look like this, so it's not perfect obviously, we've got to get rid of that background. So to do that we're going to use a free software called GIMP and uh, if you don't already have it you can just download it by searching on Google and downloading it from there. It's a really useful software to have, I really recommend it. Um, it's just great for editing pictures or artwork, it's really simple and it's free! Which is always a bonus. So once you've downloaded it or if you already have it just open it up um, and it, once it's loading it looks like this and then once it's open obviously open up the picture that you're going to be working on and here you can just see all the different options that it has up here for editing it has quite a good few different features I, I'd say it's a good alternative for Photoshop in terms of the fact that it is free so we've got our picture open now and you just want to crop it to the size that you want it to be so get rid of all that extra space on the sides and then going up to the edge here you want to right click on the layer and click duplicate layer and then head up to the top panel where it says colors and click on that and then go down to where it says threshold click on that and it'll open up this window and automatically it will wash out the colour and turn it straight to black and white and you, if it doesn't look as crisp as it looks here, if it hasn't selected all your lines that you want you can just toggle with this arrow here and it should change it just, but because this has turned out fine I'm going to press OK and if you want it in that solid black and white you can leave it as it is but I like to have my brush strokes in there so I do the select colour tool there and what that does is when you click on the white area it will select all the white in the picture so then you can go and select the original layer which is the layer where your drawing is and if it makes it easier you can press that I button I'll just show you again so that you can see which layer it is that you are working with and then you right click on that and you want to go down to where it says add alpha channel and that will make the background transparent but as you can see here it's gone grey which means there already is an alpha channel but if it is black and you can click on it then click on it so you add alpha channel and then all you have to do is press delete and then the background will disappear and then just deselect it and there is your line work on its own with the background gone and then you're free to add whatever background you want so just make another layer you can make it transparent you can make it white here I made it white and then put it underneath your line work and then just mess about with it you can fill in whatever you've drawn or you can change the color of the background to any color you want just a color block or a gradient or a pattern just experiment and have fun with it um, I decided to go with a gray in the end but I do think it looks nice in pink and then once you're done you can click over here to export your finished piece you can print it out you can upload it on the internet whatever you want it's ready for display so thank you for watching, I hope this has been useful and I will see you again soon.